fresh tracks, man. First one in the powder. Gotta get out there bright and early to get the first tracks of the season, man. First tracks of the heavy snow. Yeah, dude. This is how we do it. We're just going through Nebraska here, and the reason there's snow is because... I read somewhere or heard it somewhere that the Nebraska DOT snow plows, they don't go out at night. It will start in the morning. So they advise you, oh that's right, that's on their app. They advise, uh, you know, travel at your own risk because they don't run their snow plows at night. Now that makes zero sense because look at out here, there's nobody around. They should be out here cleaning these roads. But uh, they don't. So therefore, this is what we get. here in Ogallala, Nebraska. As you can see, no plows. We passed one on the interstate, so they must look after the interstate. They just don't do any of these uh, secondary highways or the city. <laughs> that makes the mornings a little slow going, I think. When you get up to go and there's no snow plowed, Like some years, Nebraska and Kansas, they might as you might as well call them Wyoming and Montana, because they get some pretty good snow. Last year I had a pretty good snowstorm. Shut me down in Grant, Nebraska. This is some big storm. I'm taking the back roads because I thought I could make it before the storm came across here from Cheyenne. There's a big storm going through Cheyenne. So we'll see. Maybe we'll, uh, this road that I'm taking, 26, it goes uh, northwest from Ogallala here up into uh, Scott's Bluff, and then Guernsey in Wyoming. Maybe it uh, kind of goes up on a 45 degree angle to the northwest. So maybe it'll get me out of the, the chaos that is about to ensue once everybody wakes up here. Mind you, it is a holiday down here in the USA. Oh, Marty King Day. So I don't know if too many people will be going anywhere they're smart not to it's not looking very good so here's what we're doing
know something that really is so hot can be so cold Whew. just stopped in here at crystal's oasis it's where uh, all the weary travelers stop in on their way north and their way south here in wyoming we stop in we fill up our waters it's also called uh, crystal's post office we pick up some packages and it all depends on who's here it could also be called crystal's honky tonk saloon and roadhouse because uh all depends on what kind of guys are here we might get a little rowdy still heading north well we made it well we made it somewhere anyway it's the end of the day i'm backed into a stall here so I'm up here in Billings at the, uh, is this a J or a Pilot? It's a Pilot Conical. This one is on the north side of the highway. Anyway, this all, this whole area here, this gets full of trucks. Full of trucks. I don't like staying here, but... With the weather, this will be full of trucks all the way down there. The pumps are kind of way over there. It's a huge lot, like massive. But they all go like three, four, or five deep, all in this area. It's kind of crazy. I'll maybe try and show you in the morning. Maybe not. I don't know. But so it's just extreme chaos right there in the morning, which is kind of the reason I don't like coming here. I usually park up the road, up the road a bit, there's a little hideaway I've got, but you know it's so cold that I'm just going to stay kind of around a building just in case something happens so I can go inside and truck shuts down or blows up or, <laughs> it's okay I'm not talking about you like that baby, it's alright, no I, I didn't mean to say that, I apologize. How dare I? You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway. So that's why I'm here. But one thing that people should know if you're just starting trucking or you're thinking about it. I just rolled in off the highway. Hey, I went and got fuel. I just backed into a spot. Before you dynamite your brakes, just let, take five minutes. Let them tires cool off, right? Put her into gear. Pull ahead a little bit. So you're not stuck in a rut that your tires make when they're all hot and everything. Just wait there for another couple minutes. Just let everything cool down, you know? And if you got one of them goofy trucks where you have to, when you pull on your tractor brakes, psh, and your trailer brakes automatically come on, that's bad news. That's bad news. So what you should do is sit here and wait for everything to cool down. Your brakes, tires, everything, for at least 20 minutes before you activate your brakes I'm gonna back up here a little more all the tires I think are cooled off now my brakes are nice and cool right and then of course what I do hold on to the yellow or put a thumb on the red pull the yellow the red stays there I don't want to activate my trailer brakes I don't need to because then in the morning they won't be froze up so that's what we're doing here in Billings and then the mad rush tomorrow what time is it here Two forty-four p.m. so that means I'm good to get up look at all that dust holy I'm good to get up at uh, 1244 a.m. so we'll be gone by 12 44 we'll be gone by 1 in the morning and uh, yeah huh 
He's a diehard. He's got some ice. Huh. He bought some ice. I wonder what's going on in that truck tonight. Nice oil or military vehicle up there doing something. Or it's just green anyway. I don't know. So yeah, and then this way, sitting here, I don't have somebody, nobody can pull in beside me here, look in my mirror, I got a flat deck here beside me, a couple of them, and then if you look in my mirror there, on that side I got dry vans that have been sitting here for a while beside me, so nobody can pull in beside me and tear my bumpers off, I only have one bumper, tear my bumper off, anyway, so that's where we're at, so I'm going to be up probably rolling by one in the morning one in the morning uh, we'll see what time I get we'll see what time I get into uh, Calgary deliver Calgary in the morning red deer work my way up and then just looking at the time wise, Grand Prairie will be Wednesday morning, so. Because from here, across the border, I get an extra two hours of driving. Woohoo! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It helps when you're doing all your deliveries. You want to get them done in a day. But to do that 13 hours every day, oh, 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 oh. Turns your hair gray. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it up there and make all my deliveries tomorrow and see what happens next. Everybody have a great week. Get out there and make some money. Keep this economy going. Bye for now.